Hello, North American Martial Arts students. Mr. Jones back with Mr. Brunning. This is our class number eight for Little Dragons. Little Dragons get fired up. We are going to start. Here we go. Chumbi position. Tension amount. Okay, we're going to do some seal ups. Now, parents, this is a uh, sort of a, a beginner level of a push up. Parents, if your little dragon can do regular push ups, go ahead and have them try it. If they're having a hard time, this is a good alternative. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a lying down position. Pushing up like we do our cobra stretch, and we're gonna leave our hips down and just push our upper body from here. We're gonna do 10. Ready, go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Okay. And again, parents, you can have them do more if you'd like. Our next one is a squat jump. We're going to do ten. Hands around the belt. We're going to squat down and jump. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, awesome little dragons. Okay, we're gonna do some scissor kicks to finish off our exercises. Let's lie down. Hands are gonna be to your side or under your bottom. One foot's gonna be low, other foot's gonna be a little bit higher, and we're gonna do them for 10 seconds, switching our feet. Keep them off the floor the whole time. Ready, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, little dragons, we're back. Let's hit a couple stretches. Go ahead and have a seat. Take your feet out nice and wide. Be sure to keep your toes up, knees straight. Hands are gonna reach forward as far as you can. Let's hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax, little dragons. Go ahead and reach up high to the ceiling now. Ten seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Little dragons, we're gonna reach out forward again. I want you to try to go a little bit farther than you did the first time, but be sure to keep those knees uh, straight, toes up. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, little dragons, let's go feet straight. We are gonna try to touch those toes with our hand. Reach out, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, little dragons, last one. Keep those knees straight, toes up. This time, if you could reach your toes, I want you to try to reach past them. If you couldn't reach your toes on the last one, do your best to try to get to those toes. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, little dragons. Okay, don't forget to pause the video if you need more stretching time. All right, Little Dragons, we're back. We're gonna talk about some punching today. Punching tips. Little Dragons, when you're doing your punching, we wanna make sure we keep our eyes open on our target. Hands in tight fist, and we wanna keep those hands up. So parents, make sure at all times they got their hands up, hands in tight fist, and their eyes open, okay? We are gonna do a left-right punching drill. Parents, I am going to use a square hand target for this. You can also use a blocker, pool noodle. Parents, if you don't have any of those things, just pop your hand out and they can punch your hand. Okay, guys? So we're gonna do some left, right. Now, parents, if they don't know their left from their right, well, again, this is gonna be a good way for them to practice. Mr. Brennan's gonna face me. He's gonna go to his fighting stance. And guys, what, uh, what he's gonna do is either be punching with his left or punching with his right. Okay, here we go. Ready? And right. Right. Left. Do that for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Parents, if they're pretty good at left, right, you can start giving them uh, two. So you can double up. It would look like this. Fighting stance. Here we go. Ready, left, right. Right, left. Right, right. Left, left. All right, and parents, even a level up, if they're good at that, you could even give them multiple commands. And now we're working on the memory from the fighting stance. Here we go. Left, left, right, left. All right, that was a pretty advanced one. So we could also do right, left, right. All 
right, so there is your left, right drill. Parents, again, if you don't have a target shield to use at home, go ahead and just pop your hand up for them to have a good, strong uh, target. Parents, make sure they got their hands up, eyes on the target, and tight fists, okay? You guys practice that a few times. We'll see you back in just a second. Little Dragons, we are back. Final drill for our punches. Uh, similar to the last video where we kicked the balloon, this time he's going to punch that balloon. So parents get that balloon back out. He's going to punch it up in the air. Now parents, keep, uh, the easiest punch to do is just going to be a straight up punch. If you want to have them try like an uppercut or something like that, they can. You're going to want to do something where they're punching it up. So obviously parents, if they punch it straight, it's going to go straight down to the floor. So we want them to punch it up and catch it five times. And parents, we're just working on their hand-eye coordination and their control. So he's going to do five punches <clears throat> and five catches. Let's do it. Here we go. There's the one. Good, and remember parents, if they need to chase it a little bit, that's fine, our goal is to catch it. There's two, and there's three, four. Good, and we got one more to do, and there is his number five. There's his number five. Okay, parents, good job. And uh, on the balloon, parents, a tip, if your little dragon is, you know, a little more advanced, if you blow the balloon up less, if you have another balloon, if you blow it up less, it falls faster. The bigger you blow it up, the slower it's going to fall. Okay, so if they need a little bit of a challenge, try a, a smaller balloon, or again, you can even pull out the plastic grocery bag and have them try for that. Sometimes the grocery bag gets stuck on their hand, but uh, so I recommend a, a lightly inflated balloon will work best. Okay, you guys go ahead and pause the video, and I want you guys to do uh, five punches and catches, and I want you to do that for three sets. Okay, Little Dragons, hope you enjoyed the Class 8 video. Parents, don't forget to pause the video and go back to rewatch any area that you need to uh, so that they can continue to practice at home. Keep up the good work, Little Dragons, and we will see you guys for your next class. Thank you for watching.